Once, millions of longhorn cattle roamed South Texas. Then, new cattle breeds and feed yards took over. Today, despite these changes, one thing remains relatively the same. The boot. Over 100 years ago, Mexican Texan vaqueros taught newcomers about cattle methods and gear, which included the boot. By the late 1800s, the modern world began shaping a new South Texas. Towns grew with new stores, offices, and courthouses. Into the 21st century, South Texas became a metro-like area, with shopping malls, restaurants, and entertainment. However, sheriffs and city police still maintain law and order, especially with a pair of custom-made boots. Well, in 2001, when we uh, opened the shop, uh, we were focusing mainly on your traditional cowboy boot. Uh, and through a good friend of ours that we got introduced into the law enforcement circuit, they like to have their badges, their seals, their, you know, their spe the, whatever field they specialized at, uh, embroidered on their boots. So that's kind of uh, what we gear for. 90% of our boots are geared towards law enforcement. We're very proud to serve them and to be able to offer them a good quality product at a price that they can afford. And, and all these are, we cater to a lot of the sheriffs, a lot of the troopers, and this is for you know, a customer that works for the Attorney General and the Baxter County. Uh, of course, we make a lot of boots. We have a lot of customers all over the U.S. So this is, we just shipped out to Illinois. This is a, a uh, family-owned business, and we, we do it all. I take care of the, you know, the making of the boot, measuring, cutting, and all that. And my wife takes care of the paperwork when she gets from her job over there, you know, and she gets in here running, and she goes through the desk over there and starts and doing all her paperwork, so that's what we do. That's how we do it here. One of the most famous bootmakers in South Texas is Rios of Mercedes. This family-owned business was established by Zeferino Rios, a native of Mexico, and later bought by the Evans family. Boot company is owned by the Rios family, and uh, they started down in General Terran in 1853, but they came up here to the States and they've been, boots have been made here in the States right after the turn of the century, so about 1910, so it's probably been 108, nine years. There only two sons that branched out. The one, Don Seferino Rios, came here to Mercedes and the other one, Don Navran Rios, went to Raymondsville. And at the time, there was like a Rios of Raymondsville and a Rios of Mercedes. Uh, when we got in the business, my uncle was the, uh, it was owned by a group of investors that bought it from Don Zeferino in 69, and four years later I came to work, my, uh, they hired my uncle. I had graduated from school down in Mexico City and was dying to get a business started in Mexico, and, and he said, well, if you want to start one up, uh, you can do the subcontract, the fancy stitching, because it's very tedious work. And within about two or three years, we were making enough money. We bought Rios, my uncle and I did. And so it's uh, been a family business ever since. Sewing boots by hand is still a time-honored custom with many of the bootmakers in South Texas. Moran Boots, located off of Expressway 83 in Weslaco, is also a family-owned and operated business with family members making the custom order boots. Custom-made is, is a boot that you're not going to find out there that you're kind of designing yourself. You decide what color you want the top, what color you want the bottom, what kind of sole, what kind of heel. And usually also are more popular is for custom is people that have difficulty with their feet because sometimes we all tend to have one foot bigger than the other. So the custom made allows you to build a boot that fits you and it doesn't look odd. It looks like if it was just fitted for you. Boots aren't just worn for everyday ranch life, but also to make a statement with a nice dress outfit. The fashion of the boot has changed over the years. First generation bootmaker Olegario Mundojano Sr., my father, uh, started making boots 
1984. He started making boots here in Westlaco in 1985, and boots have changed dramatically. Uh, I started with my dad in 1980, he started making Python uh, snip toe boots, and that was rocking the 80s. In 95, the demand for ropers and cowboy boots uh, skyrocketed. You know, everybody wanted their standard classic boot. Ten forward, ten years later, double stitch came in, in, in play. Everybody cared for Western designs, colored colored tops, initials. You know, it was more casual. And us as boot makers, we can't stay. We can't stay. Uh, we have to keep moving with fashion. And customers that walk in and you know uh, never wore a pair of boots because they have issues with their feet. You know, wide insteps. Uh, you name it. That's the type of projects we like to do and work with. They're wearing shorts and sandals. They come stop by and trying them on for the first time. They're excited. You can see their excitement in their eyes. For them to just don't care and walk out in shorts and wear their boots, that's what that's what keeps us moving forward and keep pushing our techniques, techniques and quality, uh, improving each day. Each day you learn a new thing. Whatever need you have for a pair of boots, you can always find a bootmaker to help you design and custom make your order.